So guys, here are four reasons why you should study medicine in China. Today we are going to be talking about everything I know about studying medicine in China. So China offers medicine in English. You can learn to be a medpreneur, that is uh, medicine and entrepreneurs. If you want to go into business after being a doctor, medpreneur. See what I did there? And uh, their universities are very affordable. So China also gives scholarships to medical students, mostly medical engineering students, but oh, we're talking about medicine here. So China gives, uh, the Chinese government gives scholarship to medical students and uh, the university itself gives 50% scholarship to foreigners studying medicine in Chinese language if you wanted to study in Chinese language. So medicine in China, like every other country, is six years. You study for five years and you do an internship for one year. You can choose to do your internship in China or go back to your country or any other country you want to practice as a doctor and do your internship. So the requirements for studying medicine in China are simple they are like every other country you need to have 60% in physics and chemistry mathematics and biology and you need to be at least 18 years old by the time you completed your high school so like I promised in this video I'm going to tell you everything I know about studying medicine in China the first question people always ask is that do you have to choose between taking traditional Chinese medicine or modern Chinese medicine so there is no difference between traditional Chinese medicine and international medicine and um, the traditional Chinese medicine are things like acupuncture and the rest of other Chinese medical methods that are incorporated into your course if you are studying in English language if you are studying in Chinese language it doesn't matter you're going to study traditional Chinese medicine as part of your curriculum another question is that would i advise anybody to study medicine in china so like i've said time and time again if you have the option of studying in an english-speaking country or a country that speaks the predominantly english language please go to that country because the major problem with studying medicine in non-speaking english countries is the language barrier we're going to be studying with professors that studied english language just for the purpose of teaching you and most of these professors have a difficult time most of these doctors have a difficult time expressing their ideas they know so much but their knowledge the knowledge they can impact into you is limited by what the level of english that they know so if you can afford to go to country like Canada, the US and the UK, please go for it because language is a very big barrier with studying in non-English speaking countries. So even if you are successful in your academics, you're going to find it hard interacting with the local population, making friends and then knowing much about Chinese culture because 99.9% .9 of the Chinese population will speak Chinese and you're going to find it hard making friends if you don't learn the Chinese language. Another thing we mentioned at the beginning of the video is that you can be a medpreneur. That means you can be a student in China and still make do some business in China. You can um, import things to your country. You can go around because china is the economic giant of the world production there is at its peak and you can easily get a business idea there and of course make some money as a student another question is that are students allowed to work in china unfortunately if you are there on a student visa you cannot work if you are there on a study visa you cannot work but that doesn't stop you from offering services to people getting your side hustle you know what i mean but not you can't get an official job in an official chinese company china itself is a very student friendly destination that means if you have all your papers nobody's going to disturb you the police are not going to be coming after you immigration is going to leave you alone so the government itself gives scholarship the university itself gives scholarship if you're on a government scholarship you study for free you stay in their dormitories for free and you get a stipend at the end of every month it's about a thousand dollars for people that are there for the university the universities give according to the performances if you're a very active person in class so if you're a very active person in their social activities then every year they would pick up about 20 percent of their students and give them some level of scholarship they might give you a stipend or just maybe a 50 percent scholarship for that year another advantage of studying in china is that you get to meet a lot of people from different countries you get to meet uh, people from all uh, asia europe africa you get to make a lot of friends which might help you later in your career so about your degree getting recognized don't worry about that because the chinese run the uh, uk system of education or medical education they run the mbbs which is uh, the bachelor of uh, medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. So if you study in a Chinese university that is recognized by who, I already updated the list on the channel. You can check the community tab to see if your university is recognized by the World Health Organization. And then you can get to work anywhere in the world you choose. You can work in your country. Some countries like Nigeria even allow students that studied in some certain Chinese universities to work in Nigeria as medical doctors without having to take the medical examination. So before you choose to study in any Chinese medical university, I'm going to be putting the link to the official WHO recognized medical university in the description below. You can check it out before you go to a university that is not recognized worldwide and then you have problems later so if you're interested in studying medicine in china i know an organization that is uh, an agency called and uh, seekers they help students all over the world with getting admission into chinese universities i'm going to be giving putting their link in the description below and uh, you can contact us directly if you want to study medicine in china or you want to know more about studying medicine in china so like we said the tuition fee in china is very affordable it's about 20 to 40 000 rmb which is about i think from three thousand dollars to about four thousand dollars i don't have the official 
and uh, exchange rate. But the last time I checked, it was around that range. And if you want to study in any other country like Germany, Luxembourg, Russia, Georgia, Ukraine, please uh, comment below and subscribe to the channel. We already have videos about uh, these countries that I've already mentioned on the channel. But if you want to study in a country, uh, study medicine in a particular country, comment below and we'll be making videos about that country. country. Sorry, cool flowers. We're supposed to make videos about Ukraine, but I told you that uh, I'm going to waiting for Marachi to recover from her quarantine. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Subscribe.